Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to Purple Rose Crafts. Today we're going to do a nice and simple and quick tutorial of how to create foundation stitches. So this is going to be foundation double crochet, foundation single crochet, and foundation half double crochet. We will do foundation single crochet last and we will start with foundation double crochet as our first one because it is the easiest to do. So we're going to start with two chains and I have just grab, grabbed some scrap yarn here. I'm using a four and a half millimeter, actually, sorry, I think this is a five millimeter crochet hook and some worsted weight yarn. And we're going to start with a yarn over like we do for a regular double crochet. For this one though, we are going to insert our hook into the first loop from our slip knot, yarn over again, draw up a loop, yarn over. Now this is how we make the foundation chain, draw through just the first loop, and now we're gonna finish off our double crochet. So yarn over, draw through two, and draw through two. So now what we've done is we've created our two chains over here on the right, and then we have our foundation double crochet here. So let's do that again. All right, so here is our foundation chain. So we yarn over, we're gonna insert our hook into that loop, draw up a loop. Now do that one more time, yarn over and draw up a single loop. This creates the chain stitch at the bottom of our double crochet. Now draw through two and then draw through two to finish off our double crochet. So we have our two chains at the beginning of the row. If you normally do three chains and that works for you, doesn't leave a big gap at the end, go ahead and start with three chains. But you're always gonna insert your hook the first time into the slip knot chain, and then the next one is the loop here at the bottom. It does look slightly different than if you started with foundation chains. We have just one loop here at the bottom of our stitch instead of basically two. So let's do that one more time. Yarn over, come down. Here is the foundation chain, the strand on the side. Insert your hook there, draw up a loop, and draw one more through just that first stitch. This is our foundation chain here. Yarn over, draw through two, and draw through two to, ch to finish it off, all right? So now we have four stitches. This is our two chains at the beginning, double crochet, double crochet, double crochet. All right, so we're gonna start again with our half double crochet. We will make our slip knot, insert our hook. You'll notice here that I leave a little bit of space in my first loop, and we're gonna do two chains again to start off the half double crochet. Now this one is going to be very similar to the double crochet that we just did. So we draw up a loop like we would for a normal double crochet, draw through the first one, all right, so that creates our foundation chain. And then we yarn over and we draw through all three. All right, and then at the bottom, so there's our double, our half double crochet here, and here is our foundation chain. All right, so yarn over again, down into this loop here. Oops, the whole loop. <laughs> yarn over and draw up a loop yarn over and draw through just the first one and then go ahead and finish off your half double crochet as the second part of the stitch. All right, one more time, yarn over. All right, so you can see our loop is sticking out here at the bottom. Now we're gonna come in, but our foundation chain for the next stitch is actually here at the top. It's this long loop that kind of sits around on top of the half double crochet. All right, so yarn over and drop a loop. Yarn over, draw through just the first one. And to make the, this is our foundation chain here. And then we draw through all three to finish off our half double crochet. Okay, so that's our half double crochet. Foundation half double crochet. This time we are gonna do the exact same way that we start except we are just going to make a single crochet. So foundation, single crochet, start with two chains. Now, instead of yarning over like we did in the previous two stitches, we're just going to insert our hook down through the first chain from our slip knot, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, draw through the first loop, just as we did in the previous stitches, and yarn over and draw through both stitches. So now we have a foundation, 
chain and a single crochet on top of it. No yarn over, so insert your hook, draw up a loop, yarn over, draw through just the first one, and yarn over and draw through both loops, all right, to create our single crochet. So one more time. This is our foundation chain at the bottom. Yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, draw through the first chain, and then yarn over and finish your single crochet. Okay, this is slightly slower than regular stitches. However, it's faster than trying to do chain stitches and figuring out what your length should be. I find that if I don't know how big I want a project to be, like say a blanket, if I just create a bunch of chains, they're stretchy, right? So when I use this instead, it gives me that first row that I can tell is the right length for whatever I'm making. So if I start, you know, a scarf, I can see what the length is for the stitches and then I can go ahead and turn and, and work my next row on top of it. And I know what my foundation size is. I hope that makes sense to you guys. If you guys like this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. And if you are watching all the way to the end, go ahead and click this video here on the screen and it will take you to a video that you are definitely gonna to wanna to watch next. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. We'll see you there.